Kiora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. Right, I've come on to do a tag. Um, it is um, Nature Month in um, Mixed Media Emporium with Nina Rivina and Kylie Koo, so I thought I'd come on and do a nature tag. Now I've got a little pile of paper here that I thought I might start off with. And not really sure as usual what I'm going to do but a little bit of green and orange in here and I thought I might start off with a bit of this. Might just start off with a little bit of that. And see where we go. We have had a brilliant day down here at the lake. Started off quite chilly, four degrees, but we had a beautiful, beautiful autumn's day out of it. All right, that's a start. Now let me see, what else have I got here? I've got some bits of wrap paper here with um, tea dyeing on them. Might put down a bit of that. Just um, slip that out of the road. And I have got a roll of Oh, I think I must have put it away. No use. On, oh, I've got a bit here. Just keep always forget something, and my craft stash is out in the annex, and I have to go outside. And it is quite cold outside tonight. And I thought that I had everything I needed, but no, that's never the case. Right, now what have I got here? Put that up there. Just building a background is what I'm doing. My daughter went home on Sunday and they had to leave early because their daughter had, my granddaughter had rung them to say that they'd sprung a leak, sprung a leak in their hot water system so um, they had to go off home. She had the plumber, rang the plumber and he was coming today or tomorrow, said he sounded like they needed a new cylinder and they've only had this one, I don't know, maybe five years. 2000 odd dollars for a new water cylinder or 3000 odd for um, gas. So they were discussing whether they'd go with gas. I have gas and it's fabulous. Right, what else have we got here? Little bits of this here is a little bit of um, bark off a lace tree, I think it's called, and it can be pulled into little strips. My neighbour was um, turning a bowl with it, I think, or something along those lines or lacing it in something he was doing. It's really lovely, so I might put a bit of that on somewhere, maybe across the bottom. It is so pretty. Um, this is what it looks like close up. You can see the 
the grain of it now you can get it really really thin this one's a little bit thicker but right now what else we got have a little bit of something up the edge here I'll put another bit of this or shall I just put a little bit of color on it what have I got here a little bit of Asian paper here maybe we'll put some of that down it Another little bit up here, I think. So my husband and I put our walking shoes on for the second day and walked a little bit further today. We walked around the block and around the marina. It wasn't very far, just under three kilometres, but it's a start when you haven't walked haven't done any exercise for um, eight weeks. So that was a, a nice walk. Just trim this bit off. Did not cut very well. Right, that's better. Right, take that off there. And what else can we do? We put across the top. We'd have a bigger bit here somewhere. Just put them leave. No, not that bit. Maybe that bit. Or maybe the other side, I think. Bit of white in there, so I'll just put that on there. Feels a little bit sticky. And I think that we just might add a little bit of orange to it. There's tiny little bits in here, so I think we might see if we can just add a little bit more. And where is my Brush here, get a little bit of water to it. It is autumn here, so I thought I would sort of go with an autumny, autumny feeling, which is reds and browns and you know bits of greens and oranges so i think we're just gonna add a few of these colors around see how we go Right, might put a little bit more of that on. Just give it a see if I can just push it through a bit. Whoops. Just destroy it. Story of my life. 
you know, just put it on my palette over here and put some water on it and just need a little bit. A little bit to that and we'll just dry that off right and back and I'm not really liking that yet so I think that I'm going to put some bubble wrap and I've put, put down some bronze and some gold and I'm going to be putting a little bit of that around and these are the colours of our autumn. So just gonna add some bits of that around. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the gold. It's a very pretty colour. Right now we want some bronze, I think. This bronze is just gorgeous. Not dear paints, but they do the job. back and this is what it's looking like my angle of my camera is not the best but with the lighting I've got it's the best I can do right now I have one stencil with me and I've mixed up some gold and some bronze and some white to hopefully make a different color to give us a little bit of brickwork I think Dry that off and I'll we'll see what I can do with it. Right, I'm back and I think I'm going to try and just put a little bit of. Mm, I'm not sure about this. A little bit of. If I don't like it, I'm just going to gesso over it all. Just didn't break up as well as I had hoped, so we will just just do this and hopefully it will not look too bad. We didn't go along the bottom far enough, but we'll put a little bit of our our um, 
lace wood down here. Let's see how that goes. This is just PVA glue. Which side do I want it on? Lay this down on this side. And hopefully it'll glue down nicely. that off right. I just have to trim that a little bit along the bottom looking like all right I have a whitish one here that might I just might get a little bit white around our bricks as well. So we're here for another few days yet, but we're here, we're the only ones in at the moment, which is really nice because it's lovely and quiet, we've got the whole camp to ourselves. It just makes the bricks a little bit more fine right now what are we going to do got some little um plants that I was playing around with but I don't think I'm going to use those now where are they while I was out work, walking I pick some leaves and I thought we might just have some little leaves like that on our like that with the gold and the brick behind now what am I going to do with it some little bits of mesh here or I've got this lovely little seal that could go over it it's got a little wee plant on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some sort of plant type thing on it. Oh, what else have I got here? And I have got a spider leaf. A spider, no skeleton. <laughs> I knew that was wrong. I do something like that. Now I don't have any, um, I don't have any, let's lay a bit of this down, just, right, let's see what I can do. A brush, got a brush, what did I do with that, I've stuck it in the water. Enough. Right. This 
all around. like at the moment. Right. There's some more glue here. Yes, I, I still have limited supplies down here at the lake. And if I don't Vicky, if I don't really know what I'm going to do before I do it, sometimes I don't bring in what I need. In the winter time, it's a little bit daunting to want to go outside and get them again. It's the boiler going off again. for it otherwise it would just dry up and crumble. skeleton one there. And we'll dry it off and then we'll be back. Alright, that's what it's looking like so far. I'm quite happy with it, but We need a tiny little bit of blue in it, and I think maybe in two quarters. Might just be the order of the day before we go any further, because our autumn skies are lovely and blue. Plenty of water in it though, we don't and we might need a tiny bit of white. Kind of like that, but not sure. 
just not a hundred percent sure. I don't have anything else. I do have some tiny little blue butterflies that came off a off a um, napkin. Just go around like that. I quite like that idea, so I think I might put that. I'll take that one away for a minute and just put this one down. See how that goes. Yeah. Get a So there's not too much. To imagine. Just trying to get to I'm out of shot here, I'm so sorry. Trying to get it just to blend in a little bit. Might have to put a little bit of something around it. We'll see when it dries. I'll just give that a dry off. Right, I've got a little bit of this brownie gold here that I'm. I think I'm just gonna around it just to blend it in a bit. I'm not liking how it's showing the napkin as a white edge. That's what it's looking like. It's not too bad. Right, now what are we going to do? Brush and wipe off. And am I going to put this here? Give the seal. No, that's not bad. Do we have a little bit of something we could put under it? A little bit of little bit of um, what is it called? Come oh, on, mine's like a sieve lately. You might have a little bit more of that somewhere. Um, burlap, burlap, that's it. Right, this bit's a little bit bigger, I think. Slip a few of those off so we can get a little fringy bit sticking out. I'm quite liking that. But first of all, I think we need a pencil here just to go around. I might have to glue little bits of it down if it just, just to. Go around the edge of it a bit. I must remember to bring a stabilo all down next time. This is not a stabilo. This is just a little... Um, I think it's for writing on windows actually. 
Well, we just want a little bit of a standy up from the Yes, I think that's a little bit of a same treatment too we've got the little um, skeleton one there that will just give a little bit of a round about two as well a new heater on our way down for the caravan and it's like a little wee heat pump oh, and it is so nice so cool all right that's what that's looking like i quite like that so now hopefully this will glue down with this um PVA glue because it's all I have at the moment. Just put that down like that. And now wax. If I had, had my heat gun, my glue gun, it would be much, much better. But we'll try with this. And see how it goes. Now let's hold it down for a little minute. Right now we want a bit of ink here, I think. Give it a little lead. Hmm. Quite liking that, and I don't have anything to put a hole in it at the moment. So there's not much I can do about that. Right now, I think we want a word. I think we need a word, and I'm just wondering why I put that little butterfly. Sitting on our leaf up here. I just might see if I can just take a bit of this off. Don't want to, don't want to rip my butterfly. I just want as little as possible of this outer edge. I think it just took a bit of his wing off. Mm. Right now, let's have a bit of glue. Open it, it might come out. A bit too much. Right. Now let me just give me a little dab here to dry it off. Right. And then I think we need a little bit more of that
around here. Just a tip around. Just around the edges, just a Help it just merge a little bit in, hopefully. I'm pretty sure this doesn't move. No, it doesn't. Right, I'll just dry that little bit off. Right, I'm back and I found some words. The earth has music for those who listen. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on them, and hopefully, it will stick. I don't want to smudge it because it's only just um, done on my inkjet printer, not on a laser. Hmm, I quite like that. I'll just get my little black pen and see if I can just go around it a little bit. Yep. Emitting my leaves. And that is my tag. I'm going to just take that up just a little bit. And I'm really quite pleased with it. I think it's quite cool. That is my tag for nature. Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha. Stay strong. And I'll catch you again soon.